This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, everyone. This is Courtney with the National Weather Service here in Sacramento. We just wanted to give you a quick update on our heat event that begins today and lasts into early next week. As always, visit the weather.gov slash Sacramento for the latest forecast information. We do have an excessive heat warning in place. This stretch is actually most of interior California. This goes into effect at noon Friday and lasts until Monday evening for those dangerously hot temperatures. We take a look at forecast high temperatures across interior Northern California into early next week. You'll see we heat up today, most locations nearing the triple digit mark, and then we heat up even more for Saturday and Sunday with a lot of places in the valley uh, exceeding 110 degrees. It will be warm even in the mountains, so we're looking at 90s for a lot of the mountain locations. So little relief will be found there if you're trying to escape the valley. We take a look at some of the probabilities of exceeding certain thresholds. You'll see for both Redding and Sacramento, there's a pretty good chance that we hit 100 degrees or 110 degrees or hotter on Saturday and Sunday. We may even push some uh, daily temperature records, especially in the valley, as things exceed 110 degrees for this weekend. Of other note, we wanna take a look at overnight temperatures because that will be providing little relief from the heat overnight. You can see by Saturday morning, things only drop into the 70s and a lot of locations in the foothills and those thermal belts will not drop uh, much further than the 80s overnight tonight into Saturday. Things are even warmer by Sunday morning. You can see widespread 70s to 80s across interior Northern California. We will start to see a little cooling for Monday and Tuesday, but it will still be fairly warm Monday morning when you wake up. If we take a look at the corresponding heat risk going into the weekend, you'll see today, most of the area is in that high heat risk for heat related illnesses. And as things warm up this weekend, we start to see the very high heat risk appear for Saturday and even more widespread on Sunday. So we really wanna make sure people are taking it easy in the heat this weekend. Again, we mentioned we'll see a little bit of cooling on Monday and further cooling on Tuesday. So less of an impact as we get to early next week. So here's a quick look at some heat safety reminders. Always uh, make sure that you're looking before you lock. Never leave children or pets in any vehicles because that can become dangerous in a matter of minutes in this heat. Make sure you're staying hydrated, so drink water often before you're thirsty. That will help you stay hydrated. And if you do have to be outside, make sure you're avoiding the hottest part of the day, wearing light clothing and finding shade. Uh, we do want to mention that many of our cities and counties across interior Northern California are opening cooling centers this weekend if you do not have air conditioning. So make sure you check with your local officials for that information. And with that, that's all I have. We'll make sure everyone stays safe this weekend and stays cool as you can. Have a good one.